After the April 11th updates to Total and the Mercury desktop, there were some changes made to how you manage your Mercury network assignments. I'm going to show you how that works in just a moment, but for now we need to talk about why these changes were made in the first place. The short answer is it all comes down to simplicity and scalability. First, there were cases where your status could get out of sync between the desktop and the web. Second of all, some appraisers thought that setting a status in their desktop application was private and internal to them only, when in fact it was updating their client automatically. Our new internal status feature makes it more clear than ever that status messages you set from the desktop are only in your own system, while status messages you set online will actually update your client. Second of all, the existing system was not scalable beyond the Mercury network. But we wanted the Mercury desktop application to be able to handle additional portals, partners, and plugins as well, and give you tools to better manage the logins, passwords, and delivery portals associated with each of those. So let's take a look at a typical portal order. In this example, we'll use a Mercury network assignment. First, once you've received notice of an order, you'll need to log into the client's portal and accept it. For Mercury Network orders, you can do this by clicking the green Respond to this Order Now button in the order email. You could also do this from the Mercury Mobile app on your phone or tablet if you have that installed. I'll need to supply my username and password. And if I'd like the Mercury Network to remember my credentials so that I can skip this step automatically next time, I can click the Remember Me checkbox. I'll go ahead and click Sign In. The order details will be displayed automatically where I can review them and then decide whether I'd like to accept the order. I'm happy with the order details here, so I'll click the Accept slash Decline Assignment button and choose to accept the assignment. Now I can open the Mercury desktop application and I'll find the new assignment in the in progress folder. From here, I can export the assignment to total to start the appraisal report automatically based on the order details. Now let's talk about status messages. There are two types of status messages that you can set. The first are your internal status messages. These are status messages that you can set internally for your own tracking and records. All you have to do is click the Add Internal Status button, choose the appropriate status, and click the OK button. We'll go ahead and set an inspection time here. and click the OK button. Once you've created one of these internal status messages, they'll be visible in the History tab for this assignment for you to review later. The second type of status that you can set are the client-specific statuses. These are done individually in each client's portal, but the Mercury Desktop application gives you an easy button to access it. Just click the Update Client button, which will automatically take you to that client's online portal where you can set the status using that system. For the Mercury Network, I'll click Set Order Status, choose the appropriate status here, and click OK. With both the internal and client-specific status systems, you can be as specific or detailed as you need to be for the requirements of this assignment. When you've completed and signed your report, deliver it as usual and your file will be marked as complete in both your internal and client-specific status messages. The Mercury Network plugin should locate your order automatically, but if not, you can find it by searching for the address. 
Select the correct order and click Next. Review any rules that are listed for you based on your client's requirements and then click Send. For more information about this process and the changes that were made, visit alamo.com forward slash support.